derby videos do pretty Derp good. Derby videos? Yeah. All but, mine have been pretty really? good. Really? Yeah. I, so. <clears throat> I hear derby videos do pretty good, John tells me. And that's exactly what you're going to... That's exactly what you're going to get today. Welcome back to the channel, y'all. That's right. Me and JB himself right here, Derb. It's been a minute. I'm glad to be back in the presence of Rackley. We just said, hey, if we're going to fish together, we might as well, you know, just fish a Derb. I guess that's what we're doing. Pull it all in, man. Uh, actually, Fun and Son is putting on a tournament out here today. A little charity Derb. And we are uh, on a place formerly known... Squaw. He told me it was formerly known as Squaw yeah. Creek, which I think might be considered a derogatory yes. term I now. Mean, so, what is it? It's now, now Comanche. Comanche. You're one of your favorite ones. Which, dude, sure. I vibe. I vibe with the Comanche right here in Central Texas where they used to dominate the plains, the yeah. prairies, the creek bottoms, making their, their bow dark sticks, riding on horseback, oh, yeah. just dominating the plains from Mexico all the way up to the Dakotas. But we're not here to talk about Indians today. We're here to uh, catch some largemouth bass, uh, at least 14 inches, and hopefully have a sack to weigh in for you guys. What are your predictions, pre dirt predictions? What do you think we'll be, we'll be at come weigh-in time? Uh, I'm hoping to sit around 8 or 9 pounds. Cool. Bye. <laughs> Setting the expectations real freaking low. <laughs> uh, there are a lot of small fish in here, but they're... <laughs> Um, there have there have been some decent ones caught out of here. We're in winter time, but it's a it's a power plant, so fish could be anywhere from pre spawn to spawn. We don't know. What? It's kind of a mystery. You uh, fished out here before? What do you think? So I fished here, I think maybe two times. Both times have been incredible. It's one of those places where you're gonna catch. I mean, arguably triple digits potentially. You're gonna catch a lot Mundies. of fish. Yeah, you're gonna catch maybe like fifty fish. Uh, but like Rackley mentioned, they're all gonna be tiny. The last time I was out here, they were eating. Fun stuff, buzz baits, big 2.5 inch, uh, googan cranks. I mean, it's a lot of boats, a lot of competition on a tiny body of water. But I have high hopes. I think we'll, I think we'll get 18 pounds. I think we'll get. Damn, I like it. I, I think we'll get 18 pounds. I think it's probably gonna take like 25 to win. 20. I mean, mid 20s, high 20s. But it's not one of those places where it's like fork. You know, you're not gonna fish it for like an eight or nine pounder. It's, it's a weird time of the year, and it's a hot water discharge lake, so you have no freaking clue no. what they're gonna be chewing on. But that's why we're here. Finger them out. Finger them out. Buddy. Hell yeah. Glad to be fishing with you either Absolutely. way. Absolutely. It's been a hot minute. John has been on a, uh, a tear. <clears throat> By the way, go check out his uh, adventurous videos. Recently just got a camper. Yeah. You got a camper video you coming up? You inspired me. Uh, I had to get one. There's we got to do it together one day. Yes. We need to get we need to get salty, start farting in some close spaces, drink some brown water, eat some broths. You some know, good stuff happens. Maybe catch bass. In the of that. I don't know. Uh, it's just good times. So you guys are in, in for a little treat today, the duo. And we got uh, the Guggen Squad videos coming up. We're actually, you're leading the charge here on a little southern yeah. border trip. Yes, which we're doing an on-the-border on the challenge. Something we have yet to. We've Never. always talked about it, but I know. I, I haven't know. done it. It's insane that we haven't pulled the trigger on a lot of the ideas that we have. We got good ideas. We just suck at execution, honestly. Sorry, I just blew you out no, there. that's fine. All right. So you guys stay tuned for that. Um... GuggenSquad.com if you want to pick up any wintertime fishing gear. We just dropped the spoons and the shad wagons. And the A-Rigs, yeah. Yep, so those are available now. It's time. It's time to get those. You can use my promo code, LFG, save 10. I think John has one, too, floating around out there. <laughs> yeah, I think it's somewhere. I don't know. i got to go find it. <laughs> anyway, um, you can save an extra 10 at checkout, plus get some of the fresh hoodies. Stay looking fresh out there. Stay stiff in Mondos. Yes, sir. We got to get to business, tie some stuff on. There are, uh, I think, 128 boats out here. So it's going to be an interesting launch. Uh, thanks for Fun and Sun putting this derb on. Poker tournament was last night also, uh, which I am. I, you won big. I, here's part of the deal it's, it's poker plus fishing. Your combined score is a win. Uh, unfortunately, John. I was the first person out of the poker tournament <laughs> out of 128 people. That's okay. uh, I was the first one out. Went a little aggressive. So we're not starting out on the great foot. That means we got to catch about 28 pounds to win this thing. Yep. Let's yep. get after it. Let's oh, it. plus Zaldane's here. Zaldane. Oh, yeah. Chris is floating around here. Somewhere. We'll probably see him out here somewhere anyway. I ran into him Just last smell night. Smell the coffee if there's a black rifle coffee scent in the air. The let's crank up the national anthem and let's get this derp started. Not there. I don't know. I, I think, I, I think we're, we're close tied for. Uh, Titus fitting life vest today. Yeah, that is. 
I'm not sinking though. Really yeah, I like, we got here and I was like, I hope I have a life jacket in my boat. Yeah, well, that's a life jacket. And, and luckily, yeah, we had two. Straight from the Titanic, honestly. Yeah. <laughs> I put a side bag, you guys. Yeah, no. What's that? Hundred dollar side bag. I'm down. Yes, sir. It's time to party. He's time to party. Time to party. Look at John. Looks like he's safe. He's ready to go. He's not sinking today. Nah, dude. Got uh, got our boys Aldane over there, and uh, guy I've known for a long time. Matt Pangrax, his partner. Got a little side bet going on with him today. Two thousand dollars. Two. Oh no, hundred dollars. No, I think it was twenty packs of Zins or one hundred dollars, whichever one comes first. What do you say? Boat number what? Eight. Boat number 12, thank you, 13. Wave out the guys, 13. Boat number 14, thank you. Once again, if you're real close to this dock and not the next 10 boats, you can hold yourself up, guys. 13, 14, thank you. Two, Boat 30. 15. 13. Yep. What time's the way in? 1 30? 1.30. We got the Bassmaster music playing. Don't forget about your camera. Dude. Oh, yeah. Ready to rock, man. We're legal. Ready to go. Let's kick it off. That's probably about it. You're good. Not going to hammer down full strength there. Derp time. This is the life. Oh. Is this, is this our first derby together? Yeah. I think so. First official derby. Wow, dude. We've competed against each other. Not much of a competition, though. Drop that power pole for a second, and then we're going to we're gonna commence dangling. Oh, I see a good one on the scope. Up high. Jerky. Jerkable. Get them fired up with the uh, aquatic sounder. Oh my gosh! Look at this tree; it's full of tilapias or something. Shad balls. You're gonna like you're gonna like this out here, John. You're gonna like what's happening. Dude, this is the longest pee of my life. Water is uh, 73 thus far. <laughs> That's pretty warm. Okay guys, so John is throwing a, uh, a large wake bait to start. Um, he's just, he just, he's just said, you know what? I'm here, I've got a small life jacket and I've got a big lure. I'm starting out with a uh, scout. Just doing a little hunting. Me and John are, uh, we're not really dialed into anything, so. <laughs> we just really needed to pee. This looked like an open spot to urinate. <laughs> like, yeah. It's like, yeah, dude, anything. Just pull, pull over. Stop the boat. You know, you probably have it, but you don't know where it is. Yeah, that's, that's where we're at. I'm just thinking of blazing worm just to kind of see what they're doing. Oh god, something big just swirled up in there. Really? To the left? No. Oh. oh, there's one. There yeah, boys, here we got him boy. Yeah, yeah. That's a keeper. Blazing worm strikes. Oh. oh, John's got the. We're gonna get dialed here. Never mind, it's not working. <laughs> no, I don't think this is gonna get us to 28 pounds, but. No, but it's nice to have a system. 
two five. I'll, two I'll do the call and you keep fishing. Yeah, buddy. That's two bites. Got them on the blazer. Yes, sir. That is me and John's first uh, boated bass in a derb together. Yes. We're not, we're not coming home. We're not going to the way with uh, right there. Yeah, he was, he was out a little bit. The other one was too. Just kind of picked it up where it started dropping. Little subtle guy. Old blazing worm, guys. You know what it'd be doing. You know what it'd do. I'll hit him. I'll hit him. You hit him, dude. You're the Greg Maddox of scoping these things. Oh my gosh. Yeah, that's like. Hello, here I am. Yeah, no, you were there. You moved. You moved one. Oh, that got me. Just lost one. Right there on that freaking edge again. All right, fishing freaks, we got one keeper. Uh, we actually had a few bites on that bank, but uh, only came up with one. Solid little keeper though. You know, probably need four of those and then like a 12 pounder, we'll be yeah, fine. 12 pounder sounds about right. I've you know, never caught one before, but we are together and magic tends to happen. You've right? caught a 12. You've caught, caught a 14. 11, 14, yeah. Oh, no. yeah. Ah, he can't say that without smiling. <laughs> I mean, I haven't caught a 12 pound. I've caught a 14 though. All right, we're going to try another hole, guys. Um, fish are kind of everywhere. Some are suspended, some are on the bottom. Uh, I liked what we were fishing there. It was kind of a transition area uh, that would be good for pre spawn, going from deep channel with points, starting to uh, flatten out. And uh, let's group of fish on. Let's see if we can find some similar stuff. Yep. Oh. See that last one? Eater reef kind of down there. Uh, I was, I was. <laughs> kind of watching your fish, but then I saw a group in the tree that I was coming through and I just kind of worked it through there Catfish Just kind of general area and then Felt it get doinked All right. I mean, I'm seeing that from five feet away Pretty <clears> clean <throat> Mother truck and drum. <laughs> like suspended 20 feet of water. It's my third uh, non bass species on the spoon. Oh, Makes you wonder, doesn't it? Go go wherever you. I, I wasn't. Are you sure? Yeah, I wasn't in. Get it. Log into the matrix. So I gotta sign in real quick. All right, JB. What do we got right now? What are we rocking? Finally found some. I got one. Oh, 
Oh my god, dude, I suck. Uh, we got some bass, finally. Starting to find some. I'm getting bit, you're getting bit. We got two in the box. That's not bad, it's not great, though. Um, Had a couple of biggies on the scope. Yeah, missed a couple big bites, no doubt. And I'm in a tree. That's the way she goes. All right, so what we got going on here, guys, is there are some little bassoids hanging around the trees. There's some shad. We've got one on the slurp and spoon. I actually had one good one come off on the slurp and spoon, and John has had a couple on the swim jig. Yeah, I just forget to set the hook. That's my only issue. It's my only pitfall. Oh, like, wow. oh, he's got it. Yeah. Yeah, his dad is a big one. I saw her turn. She's on those shad, dude. Should I get the net? Should I go ahead and get the net? Oh, I don't They're know, not dude. eating it well. That one, I, that one I had earlier freaking choked it. I had one that absolutely swallowed, but I don't know how he didn't get hooked. out no more fish will be caught yeah literally all right we made a little move did some scope and we're gonna try to worm a couple bad boys up here shake your head in a blazing see if we can kind of fill out fill out the rest of the box On. John B is on. Keeperish. There's a couple of them. My guy. My guy. <laughs> Good sign. Good sign. You ring the bus seat? I did not, but it would be a great time for it. <laughs> Midday update, folks. <clears throat> not looking great. There are thousands of fish in this lake, and we have two. Two little decents. We got a couple hours to fish. It's, co it's coming in hot, y'all. 1.30 weigh in. We got to get something going here. I'm itching. I'm itching for another bite, but it's a lot of boats moving around. People just... I don't think anybody's doing great. Somebody's got 25 pounds, but it yeah, it ain't us. I think the majority of guys are, I haven't seen another fish boated. Usually I think on this lake, you would see a lot of fish boated. It seems like now that the sun's coming out, they're kind of locking onto the trees a little bit more. I'm just hoping for like just a rando, a rogue four or five would be mint. Drag on it for a sec. The high seas of squaw. Mind if I throw this uh, jerky real quick? Give me a one Two of them. There's another one with it. That was crazy. I was like, what is going on? Yeah, the other one looked a little bigger. Well, uh, not gonna do it. Nope. Nope. Not gonna do it. Sign of life on the point. I see a lot of guys. Yeah, I don't think it was the deal this morning, but maybe with the wind. Yeah. Now. Oh 
Oh god, that's a good one. That's a good one. Net me up. Net you up? Yeah. Nice one, dude. Just smashed it. Hang on, it might be a drum. Yep. Shut the I mean, clobbered it. I've been on a boat where we caught so many drum bass fishing. Yeah. Oh man. Thought that was gonna be a three pounder. Be a keeper. Doesn't feel like a bass. Be a keeper. Me in the net? Feel like a sure. No, don't even Drum me up, sat tilapia. It's tilapia. Snack. Wow. Ooh. Nice one, John. Salt to the wound, brother. Dude, if we were fishing a, a, a drum and tilapia tournament today. All right. It's a bass, dude. Sizable. I'd fight him out. This could be a weighable. Oh no! I played it out perfectly, calm spot. It's no. It was looking right at me. There was no shake. You didn't even shake. Of course he did. <laughs> oh, dude. Yeah, this one has literally every hook possible. This one feels good. It's got to be a drum. It's either a drum or a big one. It's a drum, baby. Let's go. <laughs> Gas for goo. We we'd be weighing in a good 20 pound sack of these today. Drum? Oh yeah. It's good to keep. Good keep, bro. Good keep. Keep down. Play him down. Play him down. Oh. Uh. <laughs> no, he ain't gonna make it. He's a short, squatty one. Fattest bass I've caught all day, and he's short. It'll be tight. smallest pliers ever right there. Come on, baby. Squeak out. Squeak out one time. Hey, what do you got on this? What do you got on this? Is it going to keep? Oh, yeah. Hey, is that touching? It's touching. I think he's legal. I think we're legal. I just got bumped up to third place. Damn, dude. Money move. Get some. Did he come off? Dude, this is the second back of a pocket that they've been in. Goodness. Oh, there we go, Johnny boy. That's a good one, bro. Get in that damn gas. Dude, we might squeak out. We a last might minute squeak limit. out, man. <laughs> Despite all the failures, that's a good one. That's the biggest fish that 
today probably. Yikes. That's my boy. That's my boy coming in clutch. Here we are guys on the last GoPro battery in the last 15 minutes of the derb trying to finish out a limit. Just had a fish a minute ago that was a keeper. Would have finished it off. Uh, that would have given us five, but I lost it at the boat. Uh, then we come up here in this stupid little pocket. That's so stupid. I have no idea what's. I have, I have no idea why we were just we were at the at our wits end. And uh, the last few fish they've come in the backs the back pocket. We could we could get a limit. That's the goal right now. Try to get a limit. John just caught a nice one. Come on, I'll feel accomplished if we get a limit. Fish number five, baby. Yes, sir. Me and John B, we not we not getting skunked out here. <laughs> no. Yeah, buddy. Five fish with like twelve minutes to go. Let's see if we can call one real quick. Final fish came on the old scout. One of my favorite colors that is the perch. I don't know why they like it, but they tend to get on it a little bit. What? Uh, it's all right, buddy. Let's get another one. We got a limit. Last minute, cold one time, and I just caught another drum. We got five minutes left. We're going to take it to the ramp. We ain't gonna do well in this dirt, but I am anxious to see what Zaldane and Pangrag have. Let's see if we can get our little side bet. Key today, last minute, limit, never give up, baby. Never give up. One time for Ike and Ellie. Never give up! Never give up! 13. 13 with 30 seconds left. John Beasy. That's it. Strong finish, my guy. Strong All five finish. alive, strong finish. Let's go we'll see what we got. Yeah. All right, going to the bump board. 13. John and, John and Justin. John and Justin. Hey, five boys. Hey, behind this guy right here. Hey, man, I'm proud of our valiant I know. finish. We could have two fish right it's now. It's not great, but we, we scrapped out. Justin Rackley. There we go. There we go. John Bartakini. Nailed it. It's a hard right one to say. Yeah. Thank you. We got a photographer. 1262 on the way. Let's do a YouTube 62. Oh, yeah. All right. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you, guys. Legal. How the hell was that 12? I don't know, dude. Those are generous. I think the scales. one you caught was actually pretty good. Really? Yeah. yeah. That could have been like three or something. Now we just need to find out what Zaldane had. He waited right before us. I know. Yeah. Where did he go? He scored me. Steve Senecoff. All right. We placed a little bet uh, this morning. $100 bet uh, with the boys here. I and hope we, you beat us. We weighed 14.08. Oh, they did, dude. <laughs> yeah, what did you guys have? What did you guys to, have? We miraculously had 12 pounds, 12.62. Yeah, that's the only winning we did this week. 100 so. bucks. Yeah, Ted Gum. Well, yeah. we thought we were going to come in with two. And really? And last, like, 30 minutes, we had, like, limited wow. out. Wow. The drum were steady it's on the tough. first too. Like, drum, huh? Really? Shit, like, 22 pound sack of drum. Yeah, for sure. Not, 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 we got All right, you got, you got to move, dude. All right, dude. You're now it's time to get out. Celebrity, you got to get out of here. <laughs> yeah. All right, see you later. man. Take care, brother. All right. Well, we lost. We lost our side dirt. We lost. We lost. We lost. Yeah. <laughs> we lost poker. We lost the fishing tournament. We lost the Zaldin. Pegrag, not good. Not good all, all around. Didn't do so hot today. But we had a strong comeback. I'm still waiting for the results to come in. And I had not fished a tournament with John ever. And I'm glad we had a, a strong finish. And shout out to Fun and Son for putting it on. This Amy fishing girl. rod can glow. It's a fishing lure. Ooh. It's a slurping spoon. This one's actually not available yet. It's a little special run there. So, I uh, actually did catch some fish on slurping spoons. Again, if you guys want to catch uh, or get some slurping spoons or any of these shad wagons or anything, you can use my promo code at googanswad.com and get 10% uh, off at checkout. And thanks for tuning in to a Derb video. I'm actually getting everything ready right now to uh, go to basically Mexico tomorrow. Me and uh, John, Rob, 
uh, Lojo, we are loading up in the trucks and we are heading down south. So that's going to be a series you're going to want to stay tuned for. Could get a little spicy down there on the border. Hopefully going to catch, uh, catch some bigs to end the year off. But thank you guys for being here once again on another outdoor episode. I hope to see you back here again. Subscribe to the channel, smash that like button, and I'll see you soon. See a lot of boats going down there. In there? Uh, that's one of the options. Oh, yeah. Let's go try it. Try the left side. <laughs>